Today I'm going to show you how to take an existing document and create a table of contents. This document is a document that I've downloaded from Sherm. It's a sample employee handbook. If you're going to create your document from scratch, that's great. You're going to be able to make effective use of your styles and insert a table of contents very nicely. So this video will help you out and give you some good tips along the way to show you how you can insert, customize, and then update your table of contents. All right, let's take a look at the document that I have here. So um, this is a document, like I said, that I've downloaded. And what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is come in and insert page numbers. This is so that if my users print the document, it'll be nice to have page numbers on, uh, on the bottom of each page. So all I'm going to do is come up to insert. And I'm going to come over here to the header and footer area, and there's a drop down for page numbers. I'm going to click that I want my page numbers on the bottom of the page, and then I have some options that come up. And I'm just going to select plain number three. It'll put a page number in the bottom right hand corner. All right, so here we've got our page numbers inserted, and now I'm going to um, click the box that says different first page because I don't want the, the title page to have a number on it. So I click that box, and now I can close my header and footer, and my cover page remains unnumbered while the rest of the pages have numbers on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, insert a page break where I want to insert my table of contents. So I'm going to hit enter here, and then I'm going to come over and insert and hit page break. Now, if you ever need to see where your page breaks are, you can come back to the home tab and click on this little paragraph icon. It will show you where you have a page break inserted in case you ever need to delete it or modify anything or change it. I'm going to uncheck that right now. So I have a blank page inserted here where I am ultimately going to come back and insert a table of contents. But before I do that, what I need to do is go through my document and ensure that I have all of the different styles applied to the different um, headers of the sections of my document that I want to show up in the table of contents. So if I scroll down, what I'll see here is I've got my first section header says employment at will. And if you notice up here on the home tab in Microsoft Word, you'll see the styles area. And you may have noticed this before, you might use styles. And what this is, is this will, um, if you have your cursor placed on the line of text that you want to change to a different style heading, all you have to do is click the button up here and it will change that to, he like to heading one, for example, what I just did. And what this does in order to create your table of contents, you need to use these different headers appropriately so that your table of contents will be quick, easy, and accurate when you insert it and create it. Now, as you notice, there are some default formatting applied to these styles. And so if you don't want to change your document, you don't have to. You can actually change the font and formatting of the style itself. So I'm going to go ahead and undo what I just did. And instead, what I'm going to do is highlight my first heading that I want to be header one. And then I'm going to come up to heading one. And instead of clicking on it, I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to say update heading one to match selection. This way, you'll notice up here that heading one automatically changed to the formatting uh, that I had selected in my document. And this is the this is the formatting that I want to retain. And it happens to be a certain font and size. And now heading one will um, be attributed to that font um, that we've set up. So then what I want to do is go through the entire document and select all of the different heading ones that need to be applied. And a quicker way to do this is to come up to the view tab and select multiple pages. This is going to display your document in such a way that you can easily select each of those headings. Um, you'll select one, hit control, and then select all the other headings in your document. And then all you have to do is come back to that home button and click that heading style and it will apply that heading to each selection. So I'm going to go through and do some of that right now just to show you how it will work. So I'm going to select this heading. I'm going to hit control, select that one. We're going to scroll down 
and I see several other heading ones that I want to select. I'm just holding down the control button and selecting these. All right, so you would do this throughout your entire document. Then all you would have to do is come up to your home tab and hit heading one. And it applies the heading one formatting to, um, to those heading sections. Now I'm gonna go through my document and select the heading two. And this, this is the second sublevel of headings that we want to have displayed in our table of contents. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna select the heading two formatting. I'm gonna come up here, right click heading two, say update to match selection. And then now I'm gonna come and select all of the different heading two um, areas in my document by holding control and just selecting. And wherever you see um, any heading that you want to be heading two, you simply hold control, select it, and come back up and hit heading two. And likewise, if you have a third level of heading in your document, you would go through and do the same thing. So now let's come back. Now that we've applied some formatting, um, the style formatting to our headers in our document, let's see how we actually insert the table of contents. I'm gonna come back up to view and just come back to the one page view here. And I'm gonna scroll down to our blank page that we created that we want to insert the table of contents and I'm going to increase the size back to 100% so we can see it easily. So what we do is we come up to the References tab, and then under here, under Table of Contents, on the dropdown, you have different options that you can select to automatically insert your table of contents. So you can pick one that looks um, similar, uh, you can pick any of them, and then you can actually modify and customize them. Let's just go ahead right now with the first one, the automatic one. And you notice that it does create a nice table of contents. It has all of our heading ones um, show up on the main line, and then our heading two shows up indented underneath with all the page numbers. So you can select um, how many levels of heading headers that you want to show up in your table of contents by modifying it and customizing it. So if we want to customize our table of contents, we can come back up here on the references tab, and then we're going to click on custom um, table of contents. And here is where you have a window that you can come and you can actually modify and customize some elements of your chart. And so if you, for example, if you don't want the tab leaders to be dots, you can come down, um, you can make a change. It can be a straight line. Um, it can be a dotted line, uh, whatever you want to change that to, you can do that. You can determine how many levels you want to show of your different style headings. And so this is where you would come to modify that. Right now we only um, did two levels, but you could do four levels, however many um, that you see fit. If you happen to select a table of contents format that had too many and you wanted to narrow it down, you could come here and select, you know, to only show two levels. Um, then you can click OK. And this will um, replace the table of contents. You click OK, and I noticed that I had selected lines instead of dotted lines, and so it updates the table. The nice thing about using styles appropriately when you insert this table of contents, when you go and modify something, so for example, maybe I don't want um, the first heading to be employment at will, um, or maybe I want to add something to it, um, employment at will, please read. Then all we have to do is come back up to our table of contents, select anywhere in the table of contents, and then up here you'll see update table. When you click on that, you have the option to update page numbers only or update the entire table. And I'm just gonna say update the entire table and we'll click okay. And you'll notice that it automatically updated the heading um, that I put in there. If I had added content that shifted anything onto a different page or a different page number, then those page numbers would also update as well. 
So this is a quick way that you can t make effective use of your styles and create and insert a nice table of contents into your document. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.